Today I'm going to show you five secret locations that you can grab in the first hour of gameplay in Planet Crafter, and these things will give you major boosts to things like oxygen production, rare materials that you're going to need for crafting, and even seeds that you can use to grow food. When we first crash onto the planet, we're going to be right here in a dry lake bed. Now, just a little bit of a tip here. As the planet warms up and the ice melts, this is going to be this is going to be a lake. You don't want to build here. So you want to make sure that you get everything down on the bottom of this lake bed that you can, including the materials that you see here. On our right, you can see the stones, these very large stones that make what looks like a gate. Now, this is the same for everybody, and it's in the same location for everybody. This is going to be our point where we're going to be jumping off to look at all the different areas. Now, before we go anywhere, we're going to need to do a few things. So we're going to follow the tutorial at the top left just a little bit so that we can go ahead and have a few items before we head out. Some of them are quite necessary. So let's go ahead and run around. We're going to grab a couple things here. We're going to want to craft the backpack, the oxygen tank, we're going to want to craft the construction ship as well as the deconstruction ship. Both of these are important. Now, with all those done, we have our backpack for more storage space. We have our oxygen tank, our construction ship, and our deconstruction ship. I also have an oxygen capsule and a water bottle. I have three pieces of iron, two pieces of titanium, and one silicone. That's because I need to be able to make a living compartment and a living compartment door at a drop of a hat so that I have oxygen and I don't suffocate and die. So from the doorway, you're going to be spawning in a slightly random location. You won't spawn in the same location as I am. What you want to do is head to that gate of stone. So let's go over there. Now from here, now if we turn left, you're going to see this rock face right here. We're going to head to that rock face. And then as we come to this bit of stones right here, if we go ahead and turn just a little bit, you'll see this big rock space here and a small one. Now, as we're getting low on oxygen, we can just build this real quick. Jump inside. Then we can, with our mouse wheel, we can rotate down. We can rotate the different modules, crafting modules that we have on our gun. I want the one with the X in front of the hammer. That's the deconstruction. Now from here, we just head down. You got the big rock here. We want the little rock. Just go ahead and hit here. Turn to the left so that your right shoulder is against it and you're looking at this rock face. Now, from here, you want to mouse wheel down until you have the deconstruction. This is the only way you're going to be able to see the secret door. Okay? So we want to go right till we hit this flat piece. And then you can just kind of go along the edge here until you find it. Here it is. You can break it down. There's a hidden door. Now, if you head inside... There's a notepad with a little bit of lore. You'll find a body and storage. You got seeds for food to grow food. You got plants for oxygen, which will help in your oxygen production for your atmosphere. There's 150. There's a 200%. There's another 150%. Tons of fabric. Rare pulsar quartz, which is really nice. And blueprint microchips, will, which can unlock other blue pins that you can't unlock anywhere else. Now we're going to go back to the stone gateway and reset. Now back at the stone gateway, we're going to put our back to it and we're going to walk all the way across before we went to the left. Now we're going to go across. You're going to see stone face cliff face right in front of you. Just head right to it. You're going to go all the way there. As you kind of come over this hill, you might be able to make out just a little bit of the gold. There's a gold chest right there. This is going to have golden seed, which is going to give you an oxygen multiplier of 
percent. You also got some super alloy and iridium rods. What drops in these chests might be random for you, but you will find rare materials as well as plants for oxygen multipliers. You can also break down the boxes too after you've gotten everything out of them for materials. We're gonna go all the way back to the gate. Just remember as your oxygen ply gets low, go ahead and drop down your build real quick so that you can get oxygen. Just pop right back out and continue on. Now from the stone gateway, once again, we're just gonna go right through it. You're gonna see a ship crashed in the distance right ahead of you. Don't worry about that right now. If we turn to the right, you see some stuff in the distance, we're gonna head that way. You're gonna come to what looks like a dry riverbed or a dry creek bed with a couple stones piled up to look like like they're bridges. This is exactly where you wanna be. Now in previous early access, we used to have a golden chest under here, but it's not here anymore. So you might see guys that show you that there's a gold chest under there. It's just not anymore. Follow this all the way down to the left. Once you get past this bridge here, we're gonna go up and we're gonna follow it along. We're looking for this particular formation. We're gonna be going to that formation. Now, once you get to here and you round it, we're gonna go past it. You're gonna see like a structure right in front of me, a small structure and a big one. We're going to the big one and we're gonna to stay to the left of it right over here. You can find all kinds of aluminum here, aluminum chests. There's a crash ship in the middle of this if you guys want to explore it. But what we're looking for is right here, golden chest. Once again, you got a golden seed that gives you an oxygen multiplier of 600%, more super alloy, iridium rods, uranium rods, and more iridium and aluminum. Now from here, we're gonna continue the same direction we were going towards that. And we're gonna come out of this. Get to about right here. We're gonna turn to the right and we're gonna follow it down through this valley, down past the pillars. You'll see what I'm talking about. What we wanna do is just head all the way through these. Some stuff here to loot, we're gonna pass that. I'll leave that to you in another time. We got another one of these. We're gonna go along the back side of it. We're gonna pass it. We wanna to go to the very back. See this very last pillar here? Yeah, it ain't that one. It is actually this one right here. Well, not the very last one, but the second to last one. Once again, there's golden seed with an oxygen multiplier of 600%. These are accumulative. It's more super alloy, as you can see just how lucrative this could really be for you early game. And really help boost you. From the golden chest, we're gonna go to the left, to this wall, and we're actually just gonna hug this wall and follow it all the way. This is gonna take us right back into the dry lake bed. Oxygen multipliers, the plants for the oxygen multipliers actually is gonna be a huge boon for you. So as we come through the canyon here, we're back in the dry lake bed. My spawn, my little capsule's way over there. We're actually in the middle of a meteorite storm. What we're gonna do is head straight through. We're not gonna go back to the gate stone, which is right there on our right. The golden chest that we got is right up over here. But we're gonna head all the way through this. All the way through to the back side over here. To get here, we wanna wrap around so we can get up to this ship. That's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the ship, not inside, but we're gonna go on top of it. 
So inside the ship, there is all kinds of good stuff to loot and explore. There's lore and all kinds of cool stuff. I'm going to leave that to you in your own. What we want to do is come to the right side of it and come around this way. Jump. Follow this around. And here is another golden chest with another oxygen multiplier, more iridium rods, and aluminum. This... These are cool. You can go ahead and collect these and you'll get a shelf later on in the game where you can put all the different ones on for all of you that uh, like to 100%. Now, if you're brand new to Planet Crafter and you still would like a proper start guide, click this and I will go over everything that you need to know so that you can get properly started in the game. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.